Hi guys, today I'm going to do something completely different with this Skipper doll. Um, as you can see, she definitely needs to be restored. I'm not exactly sure what happens with these dolls. Like, how does the bangs get all matted up? I don't know. Anyway, um, as you can see, she's pretty dirty. She's going to need a lot of work. But I'm uh, always down for a challenge. So I have an idea of what I'm going to do. So hopefully she'll turn out really cute. Okay. I will begin by removing her head and then removing her hair with a large pair of scissors, a small pair of scissors, a pair of tweezers, and some curved forceps. Her hair has been completely removed. I went ahead and painted her scalp a matching color to the color of hair I'm going to be using. I'm using a hair scrunchie to hold her head in place so she doesn't roll around while I reroute her. This is the rooting tool I will be using. It's a swivel tool. It swivels when you root, which I really, really like. And a size 8 needle. Here's the hair I'm going to be using, which is Malibu Blonde from Restore Doll. Um, so, what I decided to do with her is I'm going to make her a no bangs skipper. I haven't seen a no bangs skipper before. I'm not quite sure how she's going to turn out, but um, I guess we'll see. All right. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part because it is the same thing over and over. If you want to see me rooting in real time, you can click the link above or you can find uh, the video posted in the description below or on my channel. Okay, I'm going to get started now. Okay, so I'm going to put a little piece of white elastic in her hair. And this kind of creates the little um, divot, I guess you would say, or the dent in the hair that the No Bangs Francie has, where the headband rests. It makes like a, like a little groove. This will do the same thing. So I want to go ahead and do that. Now, before I heat set her, I want to make sure this stays in place. So I'm going to use a little straight pin on both sides. And it helps keep it in place so it won't move when I heat set her. Okay, so then I'm going to reattach her body. And then going to cut her hair about right here and then roll the sides up. After I have the sides rolled up, I'll put the piece of stocking around it and tie it and then heat set it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then show you how that's done. Cut up a piece of my towel. It's like a workshop towel. It's pretty thick. It's nice and sturdy. Two little strips that I can use to roll with. I won't need this many, but there's always have extras just in case. I'm going to use a little water bottle to wet her hair. Which it's hard to do it on camera because, you know, it's like holding 
the doll and then not being able to work on it right. Okay, it's one little curl, and then I come to this side and do this curl to make them even, make sure they get rolled the same. Usually I have the doll locked between my knees so she doesn't move around, but you know, for filming purposes. So she's gonna be kinda like moving all over the place. It's a little harder. Well, it's a lot harder this way. All right. Now I'll make sure her head is facing forward and not twisted. And then I'll put two more in the back. Now, I just want to make a little side note that when I stick these um, long needles through, I'm not actually sticking it through the straw because it would be really hard to do and I would have to push really, really hard. I don't want to do that. So, I basically just go through the shop towel and then just barely catch the top of her head and push it right through and it's actually quite easy to do. Okay. Now, I'm uh, I'm going to put a piece of pantyhose over her hair to hold it in place while I heat set her and put a little tie around the neck and then heat set her and see what we got. Okay, just finish heat setting her. Okay, now what I like to do is take these out as well and just kind of give the whole thing a, like a good brush through and also so I can get some of this water out. 
Okay, so what I'll do is brush it. Just wanted to uh, make sure the curls are, are good. Okay, now I'm going to put her headband back in. And just to make sure that it dries. And also, can you see how it made like that little, that little divot in her head? Her hair, I mean. Holds a place for her headband to sit. Okay, so I'm gonna let her dry probably overnight because uh, my son's home and it's hard for me to uh, work when he's home. Okay. Now she's completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of thread and just make a little, a little tie around her neck so that when I pop her head off, that sounds horrible, her curls will stay in place so it's easier to paint her. Okay, for her eyes, I'm going to go ahead and make them green and make them more centered rather than looking off to the side and do her eyebrows, repaint her lips, give her some cheek blush, um, and some eyeshadow and maybe lashes. Yeah, I'll probably give her a, a little bit of lashes too. Okay, the very first thing I'm going to do is paint the whites of her eye um, all the way across here so that when I put the eye in the middle, this will be covered. And I do add a little bit of the varnish with my paint to uh, help hide the brush strokes when I'm painting. Scary. Raw, scary girl. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the green of her eyes. And then for a little highlight, For the pupil part of her eye. Okay, so at this point, I know she probably has that, you know, welcome to the twilight zone. Oh my goodness, I'm in a trance look. But uh, that's going to go away as soon as I uh, give her the eyeliner and uh, the eyeshadow plays a big role okay so I just tried to match the color that's on the 
other side and it, I did match it but I just don't like it so I went ahead and took that off because I probably should take that off too that's a factory eyeshadow color and uh, I don't like it well maybe somebody else painted over ears years ago I don't know but it didn't come off with the alcohol so when I cleaned her I'm gonna go a little lighter. Okay, can you see how just painting in the inside of her eye a little bit closed her eye up? It's not as, oh my goodness, shocked. So that's what uh, I'm going for. It makes a big difference. All right. That's what she looks like as of now. I still have to do her lipstick, her blush, and uh, give her some eyelashes. Now I'm going to give her some eyelashes. I'm going to be using a swivel tool and some hair from a previous reroute job I did. Um, also, I'm probably going to have to touch up the eyeliner because when I poke through um, the eyelashes through the vinyl, because she does not have any pre-existing holes because Skipper does not come with eyelashes, I'll be giving her eyelashes for the first time. It will mar up the black eyeliner, so I will have to touch that back up. And the reason I don't just put the eyeliner on after I do the lashes is because it would be too hard to go in between each eyelash. So I kind of have like a template, I guess you would say, like already or uh, um, a guideline already provided by doing it previously. So you're going to see me do the lashes and then touch up the black eyeliner and that will be why. Okay. All right, now for her lips. I went ahead and removed all of her old lipstick and I'm going to be using Paradise Pink for her color. And a little pinch of varnish, again to help hide the brush strokes. Now I'm going to reattach her body and then give her some cheek blush and then fix her hair a little bit and then 
put on her outfit and she should be done. So let's put on her body. Okay. Get my cheek blush, which I'm using soft pastel sticks. And taking a Q-tip, wetting it. And the reason why I wet it is so it doesn't come out so um, so dark. And I can kind of always add to it. So I just add a little at a time. Kind of work my way up to the color I want. So I'll put it on a little bit. Then rub it. See what stays. And then add a little more. Rub it away, see what stays. Kind of like rubbing it into the vinyl a little bit. It's very gradual, but it's uh, controllable for me. You may choose to do it differently. Other people may do it differently, but this is how I make sure I don't, you know, put too much and then I can't take it off. Which I think that's pretty much that's pretty much good good enough there you go I like to give her like a little bit of a glow I don't like to like you know like BAM you know cheek blush screaming at you I don't know I'm I like subtleties I guess all right, now I'm going to clean my desk off and then work on her hair. Okay, for her hair, I'm going to take the little tie off. And then brush her hair down. Which I could have kept it, or I could keep it as a tight roll, but I don't really want it to be, because she's Skipper's known for longer hair, and so I'd just rather give her like a, a long hair with like a little, a little curl at the end, and so something like, like this, and in order to keep her hair from springing right back up what I can do is wet it and then wrap it and hit it a little bit with a blow dryer to heat it slightly to this position without having to um, soak the hair and redo it okay so that's what I'm gonna do now Okay, now her hair is completely dry, and as you can see, I straightened out the middle part of her hair to some degree. Not completely straight, but you know, it has like a little wave to it, and the little curl at the end. All she needs now is her dress, which I created for her. It was very hard to do. I don't intend on making another one, but for, um, my no bangs skipper she needed a no bangs dress and as you can see it is different than the regular no bangs fancy dress which actually I'll go get that and show you the difference I have it right here okay here is the no bangs fancy dress as you can see it's a uh, it's much larger and it has the middle section on the dress. I didn't put that on skippers because I felt like that was to divide the little boobs and as you can see she's a child so she doesn't have that and so it's actually shorter and this little collar port is actually smaller. Anyway so it was hard to do but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get her dressed and show you what she looks like. Okay here she is. Hello dress.